No man. Hey, we're inside of darkness. A S O D. We're a hip hop group from Long Island, New York. Roger Guns. Roger Roger Nasty. Guns. Chuck Nasty. And OG Manny G. Our hometown is uh, Mignola, New York. The heart of Long Island. We all grew up there, and we went. We went, we grew, uh, we went through our high school there too. We graduated. Yeah, we graduated. We got diplomas. We ain't got GEDs. <laughs> yeah. Well, we all stem from Mignola. That's where our hometown is. Bios. We went to the same high school, obviously. Uh, three years apart. I'm the oldest, Chuck's the youngest. I'm the middle. He's the middle. Um, Roger Guns is a ex-marine. And no, I'm not an ex. Once a marine, always a marine. True that. <laughs> Charlie's a, a chef, and I'm he's a he's a an artist, a visual artist, a painter, a sculptor. This guy is a beast out there. Hmm. Picasso, watch out, nigga. <laughs> What's the next one? So how do, how do we get started? Um, we started because um, individually we were writing, but we came together just hanging out, figuring out that we like the same stuff, and we decided to make music. And we first bought like the most bootleg recording programs you could think of and we recorded out of uh, a closet for two months until we hit the actual recording studio music yeah. farm and then like two months after that we got our own studio yeah for a couple of years yeah and we co we recorded the first album there and the second album that's coming out soon being, being all from the same town it was really it was natural for us to meet and collaborate together because just coming from the same, knowing the same people, and like having the same, the same upbringing, you know, same musical influences through like Latin beats, hip hop, rock beats, a whole bunch of stuff. is how do we describe that music? Well, it's it's hip hop, definitely. But it's alternative to what's going on now, but it's hip hop. And a lot of young people don't know what hip hop is. They think it's what's on the TV, but it really isn't. That's not hip hop. See, this is urban living. Uh, but our music is it's hip hop based and it's influenced by a lot of different genres: funk, hip hop, rock, classic, yeah, classical, opera, any culture, any part of this country, any sound out there is music. So we listen to everything. Yeah, in this world. Ocean, sky, fire. It says, who's our greatest influence? Everything's our greatest influence, you know. But if you break it down, you want to throw names out. God. I started off with like Michael Jackson, uh, Cool J. Wu-Tang, Nas, Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, you know, Biggie, Big Pun, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Guns N' Roses, Jimi Hendrix, Beatles too, Led Zeppelin, uh, Frank Sinatra, a lot of reggae, reggae. yeah, Buju Bantan, 
fucking Beanie Bobby Man, Bobby. Shaggy, Freestyle too. The conscious, the conscious reggae. We listen to everything, freaking Vicente Fernandez, fucking Mark Anthony, Aventura, Anthony Santos. Yeah, Oro Solido. So we're influenced by a whole bunch of stuff. So and you hear it a lot in our music. And our live shows. Big time in our live shows. It says describe our creative process. Well, what we like to do is we just go in the studio and if we either we come in with lyrics already written, Charlie figure it out with the instruments, or Charlie makes an instrument and we figure out the lyrics there. It's it's very like spontaneous. It happens multiple ways. There's songs where are written in one night and recorded the same night, and then there's songs that are worked on for months. So it depends on the song and it depends on how we're feeling. It all comes out naturally. We don't try to force anything. It comes when it comes. Yeah, we like making good music. We don't just want to throw it out there so people can forget about it that summer, that weekend when it was hot. We like to make music that lasts. We like to believe that would last for a long time. What's the next question? It's in, uh, we pretty much answered this one. It's, you know, the studio ready to record. It says, what's next for a side of darkness? What's next? Well, we're trying to set up a couple of shows to make a tour. It's probably going to start off like a, like a local tour and send to the city and then venture off from there, hopefully in Jersey or Connecticut. And, uh, and the big project we're working on now is building our own studio since we left our original studio music farm but we want to make our own studio so we could you know not not just work on our own music but actually make a business out of it and have other young up and coming artists record there any genre you know we're also finishing up an album that's pretty much done just just last minute touches on them so like that we can uh, have the you know the audience and the fans listen and everything like that yeah, you know, we got more songs on the way, so I mean, there's just a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? We're always on the move, there's always projects that we have going on. Yeah, we're sitting on a pile of new songs, and all we gotta do is just get it out there and perform these songs. And I already got the album cover done, and uh, just gotta get it out there. Yeah, for next year, you know, uh, we're working on, like Manny said before, we're working on a tour. Uh, we'll see how that works out. We just have to finish up the last minute uh, contract moves and uh, the cities and states we're going to be performing at. Local bars also, you know, so we're not, we're never, you know, we're not too far from Long Island, so we always stay close, local. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of work to be done, you know, as a... As a group, it's a lot of work. And our, our influences that motivates us outside of music are, I guess it's still in the arts, but it's, you know, Roger got his jiu jitsu, and uh, Char Charlie has his culinary adventures. type of form of self-expression and arts were part of not only musically but
mentally, physically, it's all there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're we're side of darkness, A S O D, and uh, we're hip hop music from Long Island, New York, and we're Latino descendants from Central America, and we're here to tell our own story that hasn't been told yet, and let the people know that the story is real. The struggle is real, but we overcome it, and we're the next real thing, man, coming out of here. All right, peace. <laughs> Shout out to Darkness, A, so D, Roger Guns, OG, Manny G, Chuck Nasty, Chuck Nasty. DJ Leonardo, DJ Leonardo.